Cherry Evans giving the, the Australians some instructions. It will be interesting to see who they start with. Wade Graham leads them out. Well, as per their numbering, they went one through nine and all the way through to 13 for their four bench players. So it's a lot of playmakers in the one side. If, if there's only one forward out there, that's Tyson Frizzell. He's the only forward out there. They've, they've got four halves. There's Josh Adokar. First time in an Australian jumper. Certainly deserves it after the season he's had. Sherry Evans will be controlling things, but you're right, Andrew, there is four or five playmakers out there for Australia. AJ Brimson, Ryan Pappenhausen on the bench. Underway will this be the two teams that contest the final come tomorrow night, right about this time. And Hunt takes the first run of the match back over the 10 metre line. Nine minutes each way, six to five. If you join the coverage and you haven't seen too much of what has happened so far tonight, outstanding wins by the likes of the Cook Islands, Samoa, and the Australian women's team also in fine form. As now Wade Graham, a former of the night, here he is. Year player. Here goes He's the away. Race. See you later. Bonus zone. I'll try but not get there. First touch. Josh Adokar, another one who has made for the knock. Well, it only took 35 seconds. Wade Graham, left foot step. What a player he is. Watch this. Sharp footwork. They're all fresh too. There's no one tired. Tarpany, he can't tackle him. He goes too high. Who are you going to look for? Who are you going to find in the ninth competition in open space? There's only one man. It's the Fox. Fingertips just too good. Jermaine Asako couldn't get the Fox, but it was Wade Graham. And you're right, Bray. He held out there. He just played patient, ran across the field. He knew he had to find his winger in Josh Adokar. And did a terrific job. Found him with a great pass in Australia. Off to a fantastic start. Short kick hunt. And he comes up with the ball. He went the low kind, Ben Hunt. Now for Brazil, the lone warrior, the lone forward through the centre. 15 away from the line. This was the short kickoff. And regather. Jerry Evans missed with a conversion attempt. Graham takes them to the right side. Now it's the right flank. Oh, Gutherson coming off a hat trick in Suba. Doesn't quite get there here. I thought it was Harawira Naira out in the, that left edge there that did the job. Forced Gutherson into touch. Good ball by Moses. Ken Mamawa just did enough. And there's the first penalty going the way of New Zealand and uh, play on the call, so why not just keep on going? Harawira Naira on that run, 15 short of halfway. Kiwis would like to be next to score. Johnson just keeping it going there. Tarpany, one of the Canberra contingent on show at the nines. Now with Britain Nakora, what a season it's been for the Shark, wearing the number four here for the Kiwis. And Son Amal with that run. Change is getting ready all now for Australia, both Tafita and Brimson. There. Johnson. Johnson will play for it. That looked forward, I've got to say. Kept alive, intercept. DCE is looking for the Fox. Where is the Fox? Cherry Evans back up over the 30. Now they come on right side. Ben Hunt's offloaded. Frizzell with the ball. He's got support. He was tough by Momalo. Play on and a tackle count restarts. What a counter attack there by Australia. Terrific stuff from Downey. Cherry Evans to keep the ball alive. Stand now. Well, that okay, he was on the bench. That's why Cherry Evans couldn't fight him on the left flank. <laughs> Would have been some sort of play. Here's Wade Graham. Oh, he's, he's back comes. on, though. He's back on. Run, run, run. The Fox is there. <laughs> that is wonderful. Graham pulls it up with a superb kick. And Josh Adokar, he says... Is someone quicker than me? No, they're not. Yeah, he timed it perfectly, and they combine again, this time off the kick. Previous try was a pass from Wade Graham to Josh Adokar. No fullback in play. The clever players know, and the execution was right by him. Great left foot boot he's got on him, Wade Graham, and Fox 
did get the bounce in the end. And again, we see the big, skillful players reveling in these conditions in the Niner side. The ability to, to see the vision, to execute, to still have the footwork. No, no, Fox, I mean, he's got two touches. He's, he's had two touches of the ball, two tries, and goes off both times. It's just, they're just reeling him out of the... He is the classic Ferrari, wheeled out of the garage, only yes. on weekends for special occasions. <laughs> And he scores two drives and goes off and has a rest. If you blink, you'll miss it, but the Aussies are coming up firing. Well, New Zealand had a chance when Johnson got on the outside of Cherry Evans. He had a chance back on the inside. He opted for the pass down the, the sideline. When you don't score, well, you give the opposition a, another crack and obstruct Australia, have taken advantage of it. It was Mitchell Moses who converted the Fox's second try for a 10 0 lead right here. Nicarima touching across field and Tarpany. And there's another penalty going the way of New Zealand. That's all that has gone their way so far. Johnson quick to rock and roll. Downfield. Campbell Graham's out there. The young Rabbito out on the left wing now. So a huge thrill for him. Kalen Ponger. DJ Bruce and Young stands. We're talking 20 and 21 year olds out there for Australia. Played by Tetevano. And a switch of play for Nicarima to go across. He's another one that is perfect for Nines football. Nicol Klostad caught there with his squad for Jordan Rapana. Now with Tarpany offload, maybe knocked down. Brown off the deck. Tackle count restarts. Johnson has it, knows about the reset. Still able to offload. This is Tedavano with the ball. And he is 18 away from the line. Now Nicarima. There's the zero tackle. Brown's decided to kick. And he's put it out the corner. Batted back for Nicol Klockstad. That was so good from Brown on tackle one. Nine away from the line. But uh, still on for the Kiwis as they chase their first try. Johnson has it. Puts a step on the stepper. Then bounces oh, away. Yeah. And slows a pinch of a pass. And running around the score, Jermaine Asako. Wonderful skills again on show here at the night. Well, he's the best ninth player in the world, Sean Johnson. I was able to shrug off a, an attempt to at tackle there by Caelan Ponga. Johnson ran straight into him. Great strength to pull out of the tackle and then throw a pass to Jermaine Asako for their first try. Just watch the strength of Johnson. Shrugs away from Ponga. Drags in Campbell Graham and delivers a perfect ball there to Jermaine Asako. Yeah, Ponga really had to make that first contact tackle, as you can see here, because it drags another defender in, and when he got nine players on the field, you need to use all of them. And the, they were outnumbered Asako. Good work. Interesting tactics going long kickoff. Long and wobbly kickoff at that as well. And Australia back in possession and a penalty, so that has not worked out well for New Zealand. We'll see Caelan Pong has just gone straight from the field up the tunnel. We'll find out what's going on. Okay, that's not good. And is that out? Pappenhausen now out there for Australia, so you can sound the alarm. Ryan Pappenhausen is there, one of the speed men in this Australian side. Unlimited interchange with your reserves as well in the nines format. So Australia on tackle one, 32 away from the New Zealand line. They are working on the left, David Fafita. Look out. Randy thought he could be a star. Look at this one. Have a look at the offload. <laughs> then the flick from Pappenhausen. Brilliant. Back into Cole Feltz. Brilliant. Bonus so try as well. Salute every one of them. Spectacular rugby league right there. Yeah, great play Australia. Just onto the field, David Fafita. He loves doing this, cutting back across the grain. Across the other side of the ruck, just brushing away from players. Pappenhaus, a terrific flick pass into Kyle Felt. And isn't it great to see Kyle Felt in an Australian jumper? Hasn't played Queensland origin, plays for Australia. And just look at that man. How damaging is Fafita? Yeah, he deserves it, Kyle Felt. We can see three players here making their debut. Fafita, what a player. Drags in defenders, ability to offload and find a pass. And Pappenhausen, speed, unsonified. Unbelievably, though, Braith, Ben Hunt missed from in front. So the bonus zone try nullified somewhat. 15 points to six. No time for a restart. What a 
fantastic first half in this one. And Australia in front by nine. It is Australia 15. Leading New Zealand six. Down on ground is Lara Pitt. The Fox on fire. It was fast. It was fun to watch, Josh. Uh, what was it like out there? Yeah, it's uh, obviously fast, but it's, uh, I thought we started really well, and that's what we had to do when we uh, ran out. Try, interchange, try, interchange. Was that the plan? Yeah, oh, no. I just tipped Rado up, and he responded and just chased hard. It was, got rewarded there. It was good. Good luck in the second half. Nah, thank you. Woo! Smile on the face of one of the personality players, one of the superstar attractions of the nine. We were told that Regan Grace is quick, and we've seen that in the Super League this year with St Helens. Has that own car got him? He's made a nice statement here. Not once, but twice. Drop shadow car. At uh, full throttle. Two of the three tries for Australia scored right there. Kyle Felt getting that drive, Brandy. There's another one with a bit of nines four back in 2014. Kyle Felt, Cowboys won the title. Kyle Felt was the, they had an award, the breakout player of the tournament. He was unknown to first grade fans then, but starred at the nines format as a young fella. That's right, Andrew. And it's great to see him in a, in, in a representative jump. As I said, he hasn't played for Queensland Origin. They've had some fantastic wingers over the last decade, but... Kyle Felt is just that ultra skillful player. Great to see him score that try. And you're right, he start for the Cowboys in the Nines. And he looks pretty handy here too. He's just one of those players, one of those rugby league players that can do just about anything. He was equal leading try scorer that year. Five tries he scored in the tournament. Kyle Felt. Horses for courses, and he had his moment up there in Super last week as well. It's been a big week in the career of Kyle Felt. That's the way Oddcombe involves coming along to the football. I'd have the hat and the beach shirt on. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. A lot of rugby league on Fox League. If you can't make it to Bank West Stadium, just get the barbecue and order the, the takeaway food. Rugby league in October. So we've got a couple of test matches to call for you in the coming weeks as well. Second half underway off the boot of Ben Hunt. It's only the start of the game and the start of the second half that we see the first kick on halfway. All the rest of drop kicks. And New Zealand have possession to start the second half. So Jeremy Marshall King on a run and what a run it is. Jeremy Marshall King has got all the way up inside the 30. And it took Ed O'Carr to run him down. New Zealand, oh, Ado Carr could have been penalised there. It was almost professional foul stuff. Nikarima, long ball across. And uh, with Nickel Klockstad, he's been playing in a left centre role. And Kim Mamalo, Nikarima, cut out ball on the bounce to Johnson. Look out, Johnson goes the kick this time. Turns them around. Campbell Graham with it. And New Zealand... Should get the ball back for the line dropout, but it's not set and stuck. Yeah, good start in the second half. Marshall Key on a dummy half was the one that came up the line break to get them in good field position and the experience of Sean Johnson to get a repeat set of six here. We've gone long, Australia. It's a good one, too. He had a great second half of the season. Jeremy Marshall King and started the second half on fire. Centre field now, the Kiwis. Keep your eye on Johnson. He's the man, isn't he, really? If you look at the Kiwis, he's the go-to player, Sean Johnson. A run for Tedivano there. With the room on the left side. Oh, good play. Just a little bubble from Nickel Klockstad. Took the momentum off and all the momentum with the Australian defenders there to take him over the sideline. Yeah, when Nick Karima got on the outside of that Australian defender, I thought it was going to, going to be a Kiwi driving. You're right, just that bubble there. Just couldn't get it in his hands quick enough, Nickel Klockstad, which allowed Kyle Felt. Or is that yet? No, it's Gutherson that made the tackle. You can tell Nickel Klockstad was thinking pass before he caught the ball, and that, that's what caught him out with that bubble. Just an update from Australia camp on Caelan Ponger. Jensie's off for an HIA only. Okay, so Cherry Evans with the ball for Australia. They, not to see anyone fire the shot. The 20 40 is a rule in the nines. You know all about the 40 20, but if you want to yeah. kick long, well, hello, there, there we go. go. Here we go, 20 40. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's got. Oh, yeah, 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 here it is. The Commodore's curse is beaten. It's beaten. There it is. 
it's the 24 d It's bizarro world. It's if perfect. On a team. There was always going to be someone. Someone who tried to pull it off, and he certainly has. What a kick. No, that's a great kick. Mitchell Moses. Mitchell Moses. Big play. And Moses, well known for miracles. 25 away from the line. Australia in possession. And a cross with Fafita. This is Brandy's man. He's still a big kick, you know. Offloaded there. Kiwi scrambling defence. Hunt with it. Then it goes for Moses. Fired across. Australia trying to get to the sixes and sevens. Guffers and to Graham. Offloading back. Pat Battenhausen. Short. And only just and then a penalty. Every Sutton right there. The way the Sydney is in play at the 9 2, you get three minutes in the bin. Now stepping back, Moses, the man who scored the first try at Bankwest Stadium earlier this year for Parramatta. Slow play the ball for Graham. The keeper tied. And for Fita, Strong has rolled over and scored. And the nickel clock that tackle. He's a beast. He's an absolute beast. Yeah, he's too, he's too good from that distance. Five metres out, ten metres out, but here's the kick from Mitchell Moses. More try assists from kicks than anyone. Actually, I, I think he's three times as many try assists from kicks. That one wasn't a try assist, but it got them down this end of the field, and then David Fafita, just too powerful. Well, he takes two or three defenders to, to tackle him, so that's why he's so good at this format. One-on-one -on -one with Nick Klockstad, you said it, Brandy, close to the line. He's hard to stop as it is. Big body on small. Such a powerful player. This guy has got it all. <laughs> 21 plays six now. And New Zealand in possession. Some problems with their scoreboard on ground, but trust us, 21 6 is the scoreline. The last one converted. And the Kiwis now feeling the brunt of the Australian defence. Tarpany, that was a strong hit there. Fafita and uh, Pappenhausen, Nikarima, able to draw and pass. And Dylan Brown with it, a young eel. He can play footy, don't worry about that. Knocked out of his hands. Play on the call. And AJ Brimson comes up with the ball. One of the players I was most looking forward to seeing in action in the night. Gee, that was another promising short side raid by the Kiwis. They involving Cody Nicarima and Dylan Brown. Just seeing him with the footy there. What a mover he is. Just had the ball knocked out of his out of his grasp at the end of his run. Australia now with it through Frizzell. Offload. Tipped on by Hunt. Play on is the call again. Wade Graham with it. He's having a night out, Wade Graham. Light on for NRL this year. Wade with those injuries and coming back from serious surgery. Ten games in total. Looking up for a, a bit of lost time. Moses, nice stepping on halfway. Cora cop one there in making the tackle. Might have got a boot in the face. Here's Fazell with it. Inside the 40, he goes. 21-6. to six. Final three minutes of this one. And Australia in the driver's seat here to kick through. And uh, Cherry Evans was leading the chase. Kim Mamalo has the ball. And a strong carry back. Michael Maguire, the New Zealand coach. Tests against Australia and against Great Britain coming up. Triple header at Eden Park. There's, gee, there's some good international footy just around the corner. Tedavano bustling his way up, back up over halfway. Klockstad stalking the sideline. And it's time for Johnson to get going. So look at that. Johnson oh. turns both socks inside out. Mesmerizing from the magician, Sean Johnson. He's the best. He is. He's, he's the best, Brady. He's, he's the best nine, sevens, whatever you want to call it, any short form of the game. No one can play it like him. Just look at how he shows the ball, has that step footwork, and then just flicks it back on. <laughs> so easy. He made, he made that look easy. It's the tempo, isn't it? It's the tempo. 
with the timing. He makes it look so easy. He just glides across the field. Looks like he's got so much time when he doesn't. He knows what he's going to do. He knows he's going to flick it. He doesn't look. It's the no look. It's the deception. It's everything. It's Magic Johnson at his best. And then he puts it over the stock. <laughs> uh, I'll take that back. Zaro World is over. He didn't get that trick right. I'll say one thing. Asako, here's the, the subtlety of it all. Asako has now scored a couple of tries, both wide out. And gee, he struck his conversion sweetly. Now, it might play here 21 to 12, but come semi finals or final tomorrow, having a Blake turning all your fours into sixes or fives into sevens will come in very handy because we've seen some dusty attempts. That's a good touch finder. From the middle of the field there, he found 25 metres, Cherry Evans. Got a big boot on him. 21 plays 12 into the final minute we go. And uh, Fafita has been almost an unstoppable force here. Pappenhausen. And they're back with Hunt. Kept alive. Switch back to Fafita. Sees a little bit of space. Dummy and Fend. Then look to Flag. Tried to Dummy. And dive like a winger to score. Where are they coming from, these athletes in rugby league? Because David Fafita is out of this world. Well, we thought England were good. We were pretty impressed with their performance. But Australia, off the back of what I've seen so far in this one, are the team to beat. Athletic, speed. They just know what they're doing. And on the back of someone like David Fafita, you know, they can win this. They, they can win it. Well, Australia... So impressive for Fida. Incredible. What a finish. Oh, come on. How good are they? He put his foot out there. I think he put a foot in. Go home. <laughs> Full time. Australia 25. New Zealand 12. Beckwith Stadium on a Friday night. There's one game to come.